Hello, hello, welcome to my dining room. This is where I will be doing my do-it-yourself crafts. Welcome to my do-it-yourself crafts. Um, today we are going to actually, I'm going to show you how to do some letters, wall letters. Like I did this, let's see, can you see that? About, I don't know, two years ago. I just got the letters, they're just wooden letters. They're real, real, you know, light. And I just got craft paper and I did them. I also did that arrow in the background and the home. I just wanted those black. I painted those. Um, I didn't use uh, craft paper, but this is just, so what I'm doing here is I had gotten letters for Emma's room because we just redid her room and she wanted a cheetah and pink look. So I actually had already started, but I will also go over it with you. I just wanted to show you the ones that I have done already. So these are the two that I did already. So we did the E and the A. I don't know why I did the two, the last letter already, but that's what I did. And all I did was took a pencil. I laid, here, let me, let me stand this up somehow so you can possibly maybe see what I'm doing. I don't know how this is gonna work. Just bend this, oh, there we go. Just bend it down like that. Oh, look at that, it's fun. Don't mind my messy table. It also becomes my craft table. So we just lay it down like this and then we trace it with a pencil, which I've already done. You have an X-Acto knife. Okay, let me just move this. Make sure you have some kind of cardboard, cardboard underneath because you don't want to ruin your table. And then we're just going to take it like this and just ever so slightly, oops, I think I might have messed that one up. And what's good about this is it's, you know, cardboard background. So if you do mess it up and it's not big enough, it's not really that big of a deal. I've even like taken pieces and just like slapped it on there. This is a little harder to see because it kind of blends in with the pencil. Okay. Just go like this. This is such a fun, easy project that you could do for anything. Um, I've done it where, with, especially with Mod Podge, you can literally do everything with Mod Podge. Um, oh, hold on. Maybe you guys want to see me while I'm talking. I feel like I'm being rude. Let me see. If I move this maybe over here, you can kind of see me and me doing the project at the same time half of me anyway. Um, I've taken, um, I took a pic, I had a picture done of Emma that I loved and I bought a canvas. Cause you know, when you get like pictures wrapped on canvas, you know how expensive that is? It's insane, insanely expensive. So I just got the canvas, the size that I wanted. I did only an eight by 10 the first time. Cause I was like, Ooh, I'm scared. I had my sister print a bigger picture of the picture that I wanted. So she printed that and then I put the picture on the canvas just to make sure that it would go around. And then you have to cut the edges, um, you know, wrap it like a present. And just be careful you don't rip this when you're taking it off. It's the very corners, like you don't, yeah. Um, see like this corner right here. We'll just get a little bit better. This is why the X-Acto knife is better than scissors. I did try it once with scissors and it's just, it's not good. I mean, you can do it with scissors, but this is just much easier. So anyway, so I was saying with the picture, you just wrap it like a present and then you Mod Podge the canvas. You put the picture on there, wrap it, and then you put the Mod Podge over it. We'll have to do that as a project one day. It's so much fun and you can make such beautiful pictures. Okay, so can you see that? Can you see how I have that over like that? Okay, so now we're going to take the Mod Podge and we're just gonna 
slap it on there. Take a brush. It dries clear, so you don't have to worry about that. Like it's not gonna, cause see how it's going on white? It's not going to be white when it dries. I mean, not that you care what it's like on the underneath, but when you, cause you have to put this over top of it also. So there also is a tool, it's like a spackling tool that you can use to make sure that there's no bubbles. I did not grab it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna use my fingers. This is a smaller project, so it's not, you know. If I was, when I did the picture, I did use my tool because you want a nice smooth, you don't want any bubbles, because you really want a nice picture. Uh, not that I don't want a nice project here, but it's not something that I absolutely need. And just make sure Okay, so now I'm just gonna rub up, okay? Just rubbing up, and if I had my tool, I would just do the same thing. Rub out and up, get all those bubbles. You don't want any bubbles. Okay. Now see, I do have extra on this side. which I'm just, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna take some more Mod Podge and put it on the side and then just wrap it down. No problem. Like this, I don't know, it's all over the thing. That's okay, that's what it's there for to protect my table. And we're just gonna push it down, no big deal. No big deal. Because sometimes when you don't cut enough of it away, because I'm, I'm always, a, I'd rather have a little bit extra then, you know, too little, because then it'll be short and it'll look silly. Again, like I said, I've done that also, and I just take little pieces and I just add it onto it, no big deal. Okay, so we're still rubbing. We're gonna let this dry a little. Like, see this one? I already did. I already applied the Mod Podge over top. It's starting to dry. So that's what it's gonna look like. So, so far I have the E, now an M and an A, and I just have to do the other M, which will be in the pink. And then uh, we can hang it up in her room, and she's gonna love it. She's actually gonna be surprised, because it'll be done when she gets home. So, does anyone else love do-it-yourself crafts? Because I am in the comments, you know, but if you do or you don't, I do. I love doing it yourself craft, but sometimes what happens with me is I think I can do everything. And then like I start it and I'm like, oh, I wanna do something else. It must be my, my squirrel brain. Um, Cause I wanna do so many. Like I'm dying to do a palette couch. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the Mod Podge. Like I said, it's going to dry clear. So don't worry. And you're just gonna put a thin layer I went a little thick here, so we're just gonna keep using this. And we're just going to apply it over top. And right now it's so nice out, you can put them outside to dry. I mean, I'll just leave them right here because they don't take long to dry at all. And when you have a bigger project, you wanna wait. These are small and just something quick and you're hanging it on the wall anyway. So as it's on the wall, it will just dry. And I do have to get the little tacks for the back because this, um, with those, they had the little, there was like little holes in the back that you could actually hang like a tack on, but these ones do not have it. And I didn't notice that until after I got them home or I might've looked for other ones, but you could just use those um, picture tacks. Those are easy, and this is just wood, so it'll go in real simple. So, so yeah, so this is it, really. I mean, this is simple, easy, you could do so many things. Uh, if you know someone that's having a little boy or a little girl, you can do like dinosaurs. Actually, I did this for my friend once. I, her little boys, um, one likes Flash, one likes dinosaurs, so I did their initials um, with 
flash and one with dinosaurs. It came out really cute. So this could be for anything. If you have a baby, you know, baby shower coming up or a friend's having a baby or just whatever. Anything fun. Um, you can add, you know, bows to this or rhinestones. You can add anything. The project could be endless. Um, so that's really it. All you really need is the the wooden letters. This, this is them. And they literally were like two something, I think. And they're very inexpensive. You need, this was, um, what paper did I get? I bought, um, oh my God, what's it called? Uh, I forget what it's called. We put it in the photo albums to make, um, oh my goodness, scrapbooking paper. Scrapbooking paper. You can use any kind of paper. You can use wrapping paper, construction paper, any kind of paper you can use. I just bought this because it had the designs on it. Um, this you can get for like 67 cents sometimes. Um, you need a brush, you need an X-Acto knife, you need a pencil, and you need your Mod Podge. And that's really it. And I will post a picture after I finish. I just wanted to show you how to do this and how simple it is. And you can have such a great look. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me. Hope you had fun and hope you um, try a project. Any other projects you have, post your projects that you've done yourself. Any do-it-yourselfers out there, comment and uh, let's share some stuff. All right. Bye. Thanks.